Hello everyone, Tommy with Studio Sense here. Welcome to today's video. Hope you're having a great day so far. Today we're gonna to briefly look at a few fragrances from a very light cologne line for men from the brand of Cremo. Now, whether you've heard of Cremo or not, this will be just kind of a light introduction to some of their products. In fact, some of my favorite, which I've termed Cremo the Crop. Yes, a terrible pun. Dad jokes and puns are pretty much where I live, but I promise to keep it minimal. I have that and more coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back guys to what I'll call a light introduction, which I guess is appropriate because Cremo is a light fragrance or light cologne brand for men or really for anybody, but they do have relatively masculine products. And I want to introduce you guys to just a few of my favorite Cremo scents. Now Cremo has a ton of products. I'll leave a link to the website below. This isn't a sponsored video. Cremo hasn't asked me to talk about their fragrances or anything, but I never have on my channel. And since they are a fragrance brand for men, albeit a light one, and I'll discuss what I mean by that in a moment, I did want to kind of give you guys an idea of what some of my favorite colognes that they have created to kind of give you an introduction into what they have. What I'd like to do first is talk about a popular fragrance and then the Cremo version of that fragrance, or at least what I feel like is closest resembling that popular fragrance, just in case you wanted to get something a little bit less expensive to give you some more options. What I mean by light cologne, which is what I feel like Cremo is a brand of, what they create, is their fragrances are relatively inexpensive. You can get a full 100 ml bottle for about 20 bucks pretty much anywhere, either off their website or at most of your drug stores or retailers. Actually, my favorite three Cremo scents you can find right now, and that's also why I'm choosing to discuss them today because you can go out today pretty much and find them. And I feel like they're drawing back on some of their older scents, and so now may be a time to, to grab them up before they replace them in their catalog. My first favorite Cremo scent actually smells a lot like a Givenchy fragrance that's relatively new to the market. It is Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé. Of course, if you know anything about the Givenchy line, it's all about that iris, that light masculine iris combination of chestnut, iris, and this boozy scotch whiskey. And it's a wonderfully boozy, masculine, sexy date night fragrance for men or its signature scent. Now this is an office friendly fragrance. It can be worn pretty much year round. It's great for cooler weather. It's not something in high heat that you'd want to wear a lot of. It's one of the best Givenchy scents of recent years and I really dig it. But if you can't afford Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé, there is a fragrance by Cremo. And again, Cremo is a light fragrance. It's more, they operate more as an eau de cologne in terms of the concentration of oils. That's why they're inexpensive, but they do smell great. And this is one of my favorites. It is Palo Santo. Now, Palo Santo, which translates to holy wood, is actually a tree that is found in Ecuador and Peru. It's got a ton of medicinal uses. The smell or the aroma is often distilled into an oil that is great for fragrance because it's got that astringent woody background. Now if you go to the Cremo site you'll see that this actually also has cardamom, it's got papyrus, and of course Palo Santo as the primary fragrance load or base. Now of course this doesn't smell exactly like Reserve Privé. It doesn't have that iris at all but it does carry kind of a smoky background that I really like and really enjoy that puts me in the mind of a lightly boozy fragrance. So it carries the same kind of overall warmth and that's owing to the Palo Santo, the, the woody backbone that is that is this particular fragrance. So if you like Reserve Privé, if you've had a chance to test it out, I tested this out on one arm, this on the other, and they do have that same kind of overall depth, you know, an overall general feel, although albeit when they dry down, they're they're quite a bit different. Now, of course, these, when I say they operate more as an eau de cologne, they don't have a tremendous radius of projection, okay? So this is kind of like an out of the shower fragrance, something you want to grab when you're in a hurry, you're going to be running errands, you're going to be doing something that's not going to be hours and hours, just for a very relatively short period of time. You want to smell good, you want to smell fresh. Again, something woody, something pleasant, something similar, lightly boozy, which is exactly what this smells like, then Palo Santo is definitely the Cremo fragrance you want to try or check out. Next up is a fragrance by Abercrombie and Fitch. If you like Fierce, you will really like Fierce Reserve. I would describe this particular line of Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce as being very uh, more youthful oriented. 
Uh, the difference with Reserve is it's got more of a, an adult or mature base about it because it does have more of a boozy, even though it's a sweet fragrance, it's got that whole boozy background that I absolutely love. Now, if you're a lover of boozy fragrances out there and you like lightly sweet fragrances, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Reserve, definitely want to check this one out. It's along the lines of most colognes for men. You'll get it for 100 bucks, a little under 100 bucks now, depending upon where you purchase it. And while the comparable aroma or scent by Cremo isn't exactly, just like none of these are exactly like the fragrance I'm comparing them to, they do have characteristics of it. And the one that, that carries characteristics of Fierce Reserve is actually called Distiller's Blend. Now, you, you might notice Distiller's Blend because it's actually in most retail stores. I don't know if they have an overstock of them or whatever, but this is the one you see literally everywhere. And of course, you see the other accoutrements of Distiller's Blend, meaning the you know shower gel, the shampoo, the shaving kit, whatever. Again, they have a ton of products that carry the same Distiller's Blend aroma or scent. Basically, Fierce Reserve is sage, leather, amber, and whiskey, a combination of those notes. And whiskey, of course, is your primary background note, but that's what carries the overall theme of Fierce Reserve and, and, and keeps it in that category of boozy fragrances for men. Now, the, the amber and the sage makes it more spicy, more warm, and a great cool weather fragrance. Distiller's Blend, or number 13, or number 13 Distiller's Blend, actually has Kentucky bourbon, smoked vetiver, and American oak. Kentucky bourbon is also a background note similar to the whiskey that is in Fierce Reserve, and that's they they, they both kind of carry that same overall cadence, you know, overall aroma, and that's what I really like about them. Now, this isn't nearly as sweet as Fierce Reserve is, kind of the difference. Now, the interesting thing about Fierce Reserve is it is actually an eau de cologne. However, it is a very pungent eau de cologne. It has much more of a radius in terms of projection than does or than will distillers blend, but they're both very similar in terms of that boozy, whiskey, woody background. Now uh, this one has a little bit of smoke to it too that is more similar to Givenchy Gentleman Boise, uh, which is a another great fragrance. I don't have it in front of me or I would show it to you. I'll give you an example of it here. Givenchy Gentleman Boise has smoke in the background as well. So it's very similar. You can kind of pick up on that that smoky background and that's that's that smoked vetiver. It gives it more of a dry kind of masculine appeal. And again, for a quick grab and go that has some characteristics very similar to Fierce Reserve, you want to check out Distiller's Blend or number 13. The next popular fragrance that has a comparable Cremo eau de cologne or, or scent is another one from Givenchy. It's one of my absolute favorite. Speaking of absolute, it is gentlemen only absolute. Uh, this one is has been compared many times to Spice Bomb or Spice Bomb Extreme because it's a very effusively spicy very spicy fragrance. It's also been compared to Bulgari Men in Black because all of these have very similar traits and the number one word I would use to describe all of them very simply is spicy, very spicy. So the comparable Cremo fragrance that is the Primo Cremo in my estimation, Cremo the Crop, okay, done with the puns, is one that is called Spice and Black Vanilla. Spice and Black Vanilla is very similar to Spice Bomb, very similar to Gentleman Only Absolute insofar as it's a very spicy, effusively spicy fragrance. But again, it doesn't have that, that weight, that depth, that pungency, but it is very similar. Something, again, quick grab and go that you want to smell more spicy, more warm, more vanillic. This is the way to go. Now, Cremo also has one called Bourbon Vanilla has some other ones that are kind of similar, but this one, it's one of their better sellers actually, but for some reason they've relegated it to the back of the catalog. So to find it on their website, you'll have to go all fragrances and check it out there. I really enjoy this one as a little bit better than, than those, again, because of its Spice Bomb comparison. I would even go so far as to say this is a poor man's Spice Bomb. Although it doesn't have any tobacco, it does have other fragrant notes. They call it a sensual spicy scent. It's designed with a soothing blend of cashmere cardamom, cashmere woods, and vanilla bourbon. I also see some star anise and some other fragrant notes that contribute to it. Just you know, spices, just like in Givenchy Gentleman Only Absolute, there's what, nutmeg, saffron, just a ton of other spices that contribute to its spice bomb-like nature. So those are my three favorite Cremo scents right now, and very likely you can find these right now 
at your retailers. Now, of course, I live in the southeastern part of the United States, so it's really easy to find them depending upon where you live. Now, you could still get them off their catalog online if you'd like to order them and just have them shipped directly to your house. But again, if you're out and about and you have 20 bucks to burn and you want to smell like one of these more popular men's fragrance, these are some that are a little bit comparable to those and carry kind of the same kind of smell or overall aroma. But what's cool about the website, if you want to try something else, they do have a guarantee. So they'll stand by their products. If you order something and you try it out, you don't really like it, you can always ship it back. So that's kind of cool. And I really like guarantees like that from fragrance companies, because again, fragrance is such a subjective kind of industry. You never know if you're going to like something. And that's why samples are so important. Well, guys, that's it for my very brief coverage of some of my favorite Cremo products. What about yours? Do you have any experience with these or have you tried other Cremo scents? that you really enjoy and, and really like share those with us in the comments below thanks so much though for stopping by checking out today's video and as always thank you so much for your support on my channel i'm tommy with studio sense and i'll see you tomorrow